Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons and how it is impacted by the absolutely massive uh, announcement from Warner Brothers that every single 2021 Warner Brothers film will go straight to HBO Max on the streaming service and will never see uh, the light of day and will never have an exclusive window in a movie theater. First of all, this is unprecedented in the history of in American history, right? Uh, this has never happened. By the way, when we're talking about the you know the movie industry, you're talking about America, right? Like uh, I think Amer I, I think Disney alone does more business, uh, you know, movie wise than every other country in the world combined on an annual basis, right? It's like Ma America absolutely dominates the movie industry, or they did for a long time. Well. It, yeah, we still have a movie industry that's just under massive impact right now. Excuse me. So, uh, so what's happening with uh, with this decision? So, one, just let's talk about the decision, and we'll talk about why it impacts Dungeons and Dragons. It's not good. It's very bad for Dungeons and Dragons, and we'll, I'll explain why. So, basically, uh, twenty twenty pandemic happens. Um, pretty much every every. Uh, and movie theaters shut down for a little while. Then they reopened with limited capacity. They're open in America right now. There are many movie theaters uh, in this is uh, December of 2020. There are many theaters that are open. And this entire year has has been um, a lot of movie studios playing footsie with the, the you know with the theaters. Saying we're going to give you this movie. No we're not. We're going to give you this movie. No we're not. We're yanking the date. You know like. It was, there was literally just thousands of articles and YouTube videos and tweets that meant nothing because they're like, oh, here's the date for the movie. Forget that. Here's the date for the movie. Forget that. Here's the date for the movie. Forget that. Right. And then the movie just sliding over to streaming. Right. Now, the reason why this is a big deal is that you're looking at the possible death of the entire movie industry. Right. Now, if you think I'm wrong about that, I'm going to point you to the 1980s and arcades. Right. So let's talk about what does it mean, the death of the movie theater industry. It doesn't mean that there won't be any more movie theaters. It means that the mo the movie industry could be like the art house is now, right? Like, you know, wherever you live, there's some rich, you know, town, you know, uh, 30 minutes away, and they have some art house that shows French movies with subtitles, right? Like, there's one of them, it looks old and nice, and, you know, and, you know, it it doesn't show regular movies, right? And you're like, what is this thing? They go to your movie plex and you're like, okay, there's 16 movies here. They're filled with actual movies, right? So what I'm saying is if essentially the death of the movie th th the movie theater industry would be the movie, th the movie theater industry just sliding into this issue where there might be one movie theater within 25 miles of you rather than seven. Right and and that movie theater having like two screens, right rather than sixteen, right. So and and movies opening up to five, ten, maybe fifty million max, rather than two hundred fifty to four hundred million dollar openings with two billion dollar, uh, you know, total price tags. It's a really, really, really big deal, right? Now, why is this bad for? So you know, with with HBO Max. Uh, with Warner Brothers saying every single the uh, movie we have will go straight to uh, HBO Max, you're looking at a possibility of a devastating blow that the that the movie the industry, which is already reeling, cannot come back from. Right? It's already taken an uppercut. This is a roundhouse, right? So you're kind of like, how much more can the movie theater uh, industry take when they come back? Is there going to be anybody left who's willing to go into a movie theater? Will people even remember what movies are? And if you think I'm like, oh, you're you're overreacted, Scott. I'm gonna point you to the '80s and arcades. This is exactly what happened with arcades. In the '80s and the '90s, me and my friends could walk into any mall, right, plunk our quarters down and play literally, you know, ten to thirty different boxes in a dedicated arcade. Now, you know, one in every 25 miles. Maybe there's one at your Dave and Buster's. Maybe there's one, you know, like. Uh, they're they don't they're they're very they're incredibly rare right they, you, it's very they're very very hard to find right and it's it's harsh it's a very harsh reality and uh, we could really be looking at them at the the end of the movie industry right this is not good 
So how does this impact Dungeons and Dragons? Well, this impacts Dungeons and Dragons very, very directly in that uh, Dungeons and Dragons has always had the possibility of being a $2 billion a piece trilogy, right? A $6 billion mega hit, right? In uh, an American movie, uh, movie trilogy, right? The likes of uh, Lord of the Rings, the likes of, um, you know, Marvel's Endgame, that level, the, the likes of a, a Star Wars trilogy, um, it's always had that possibility. People know it. In 2000, there was a failed attempt. And then, you know, for two decades, people have been trying to get back to, to selling this thing as, as a movie trilogy. And it's really tough. You know, we just don't, we're not getting there. We're not getting to where we, where we want to be. And, uh, and that within the last five years, Paramount and I'm pretty sure Warner Brothers were both connected to a Dungeons and Dragons movie at some level. All those plans have, like, you know, to my knowledge from everything I've read, have all washed away and it just never materialized, right? And the fact that now we're questioning whether there will even be an industry for that movie to be released in is absolutely horrific, right? And I hear you're like, well, what about those streamers? Small screen nonsense, right? You don't make $2 billion on small screen streaming nonsense. It's not real movies, right? And it's a real loss for the Dungeons and Dragons community. There's no upside, right? Like usually I'm like, well, here's the silver line. There's no silver line. This is bad. This is very, 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 very bad for Dungeons and Dragons. It's a sad day. Mourn with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's. I ain't, I ain't gonna give you a silver lining on this one. It just it's bad. It's bad from every perspective. Um, and I'm sad. And uh, my hopes and my heart go out to you. You know, don't weep too many tears over this. Um, not because it's not important, but just because chin up, <laughs> um, for our own dignity and for the sake of those around us. All that's my opinion. What do you think? I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.